to take to clear the protesters blocking Interstate 880 in Oakland and the Golden Gate Bridge. The pro-Palestinian protesters say they wanted to create an economic blockade in an effort that was seen in cities around the world. KTV's Amanda Quintana joining us now from our newsroom with the latest arrest numbers here in the Bay Area. Amanda? Well, Pam, it was definitely a hectic day yesterday now that police have gotten some time to process what happened at four different protest scenes in the Bay Area. They're releasing more information about what made it all so difficult to clear. Let go of your fingers. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go of the bar. CHP put this video on social media showing the device used by protesters on northbound 880 in Oakland. There were seven of these 55-gallon drums filled with rebar and concrete with heavy-duty pipes and chains attaching the protesters to them. We watched as officers had to use multiple tools to get through them, including saws and jackhammers. Seven protesters were arrested there, and it took seven hours to clear all of those lanes. Now, on the Golden Gate Bridge, protesters used their car with chains concealed with pipes to connect themselves to each other. That took more than four hours to clear, and 26 people were arrested there. Then on southbound 880, there were about 300 protesters. Five of them were arrested, again, taking five hours to clear all of those lanes. CHP put out a long list of the various charges they'll be facing, including unlawful assembly, refusal to comply with a lawful order, resisting false imprisonment, and unlawful to stop on a bridge for those on the Golden Gate. Last night, there was also a protest at the Fremont Tesla plant where officers deployed pepper balls on that crowd. We're still waiting on arrest numbers from Fremont police for that protest. Live in the newsroom, Amanda Quintana, KTVU, Fox 2 News.